in this, here we go again. Even though I'm one, I step in your door like I'm 10. 300 pounds of brown eyes, light skin. What time is it? It's game time is up again. I come through big like the woo. Got you running like my name is Casper. Boo, just don't know who you just stepped to. I'm the big dog with them side 13 shoes. Rip on the regular smash all competitors. Take my mask off, I see red like the predator. Rooted like a tree, so I'm deep, don't sleep. You're messing with Philly. I turn green, Bill Bixby. Philly homegrown, hip hop tone. Sport the Philly fitted baggy pants, much backbone. Now it's time to reap this lyrics and song. Yo, the bigs in the house, let's get this movie, keep going. What am I supposed to do? Just like an ocean view. All my emotions. All my emotions. When I see how the lights. I'm Ron Goodwin. They call me Big City. We are in my hometown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And this area is called Richard Allen Homes, but back in the day, it was Richard Allen Project. It was drugs here, it was gang wars here. Um, a lot of poverty here. Food stamps. I remember getting robbed around here. A uh, dude put a knife in me and took all my money. Took the food stamps, left the pennies, you know what I mean? And anyone in Philly know, if they say, where you from? You say I'm from Richard Island. People just knew, like, that was, that was a rough upbringing. They knew that's the rough side of the mountain. They knew that that person had a story to tell. And that's the story that y'all about to hear. I'm back again, but this time I'm not lacking in. No more slacking, man. Got myself together, got myself together. See, God is a God of second chances in. This one I'm not retracting in. Back to the tracks again. Speaking facts again. I had seven siblings. I mean, excuse me, six siblings. It was my, my brother, my older sister Janet, then it was William. Andre, and it's me. I was, I'm the middle child. And then there's Keisha, Tamika, and my baby brother, Anthony. And uh, we had an older brother, but he passed away early, um, uh, like, like one or two years old, something like that, he passed away. So yeah, it was seven of us. Uh, we all drew. My brother Andre drew, William drew, I drew, Keisha sung, Janet sung. Um, Tamika song, uh, Anthony was athlete. I mean, mom poured all her talent. It was somebody got some sort of gift. You know, she left us with something. You know, and that was the beauty of just us being a family. That was that was the beauty. Of it. I remember my father um, being in my life when I was young. I didn't. The last time I. I I was with my dad as a young man, I was seven. And um, he just was estranged, you know, he, he was in and out of jail, stuff like that. And uh, I was raised by my mom. I remember my dad coming home from work, sitting down on the couch, and I wanted to be around, I, he was dirty, he did construction, but I didn't really care. I just wanted to sit in his lap and soak in that smell. You know what I mean? I was, I was I would snuggle up against him, man, and smell all that work, you know, that concrete. And I wouldn't wash my shirt, you know, because I didn't see him a lot. So I would smell that shirt because it's like that was my pop, you know what I mean? So, um, but not having him around, uh, it was almost like the norm. My brother Wim really took that role of protecting all of us. And, um, you know, I, I remember being six years old where Wim had stopped this, uh, a guy came in my room and um, he grabbed me up and you know, he's trying to uh, sexually abuse me. And uh, William fought this guy off and this guy, instead of you know raping me, he, he raped William. And then, um, and I remember talking to um, my sister about it and uh, it's just a real emotional time because William felt like I had to, he had to protect us because we didn't have anyone else to, we didn't have a father figure there. And he was a, he was a barely a teen himself, and, uh, but he took on that role. He would comb our hair, he would plant our hair, he would make sure we off the school right, he would cook our food, 
You know what I mean? He, he would try to be the man for us. Yeah, Wham died at 31, and um, the one thing I took from Wham is that big brother protectiveness, the big brother making sure everybody's okay, looking out for, that's the same type of heart that I have. I try to make sure all my sisters are good, my little brothers. I remember when I was in the Navy, I went and got my mom. I'm married, you know, I went and got my mom, my brothers, I moved them from Georgia, they're staying in the trailer. I went and picked them up and took them and, uh, and had them move in with me. Yo, listen, welcome to the Flamestone Spirit All Let Me. I'm on the track with my name, Big City. I rep Philly, but down in South Cap. But don't get it twisted, listen, God still in my rap. Matter of fact, city won't turn back. I'm on the front line, plus I lead the attack like, yup, my crew's up in here. Fresh this big be like, do up in here. Listen, dog, my crew run hard, then I roll up in your city real deep like fog. I'm not scared, nah, I'm not shook. I stand on God, plus I keep my face in this book. I'm led by the spirit, flame. Christ is the chief cornerstone, that's where we get the name, you get it? Flame stone, now the game's on. Fantastic four, time to get the flame on, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's on. Since the teen, I was gone. But I'm back, cause of God, he gave me a new breath, a new wind. Now I get it, I can take it on the chin, I can take it and he win. Still got a little bit of gray, but it's cool though. God gave me some spiritual advice and I told him I'm gonna go in like Cool Joe. I'm giving it to you raw, no ad-libs, just lyrics off the top, no ad tim. Yeah. I don't add them, I just subtract them. Then I get the spirit involved and I give it back to them all. Like the youth from a dog, now we little puppies and we play for the ball. I ain't playing though. I just lay low, with my head low, in the brain bent, it's a new flow, for y'all youngins used to sip Nouveau, I just sip that new water out the spirit, it's all good, that's how I do it every day off the tip top, give it to him Biggie. Yo, even by myself I'm never solo, I grab the mic, season the track like a chicken the dobo, no need for the fofo, Christ is risen, I don't claim to be perfect, just a sinner forgiven, Christ is unconquerable, unstoppable, the feet are raised from the dead, that makes him untoppable. My mom, she had married this guy, and uh, I, I just choose not to share his name, but this dude, he took us from here when I was about 15, and he moved us to Georgia. He put us down there, he put us in the trailer, and that joker left us. He left us in that trailer. We didn't have no lights, gas, food, nothing. And I just, you know, mom did some pretty awful things to feed us at the time. You know, it was just me, um, Anthony, Keisha, Tamika, uh, William stayed here, uh, Andre stayed here, and Janet stayed here. And uh, But we were the, the youngest ones, and we were struggling. We didn't know anybody down there. We had no means to get back up here, and it was, it was horrible. It was horrible. I don't wish that on anybody, like, to, to actually uproot a family, take them to a place that they don't know no one and leave them, it's cowardice. And that's what this dude did. Now she sent me on by myself. I came up here and stayed with Janet. I, I rekindled um, my relationship with my father. And uh, so I started staying with him, learning about him, um, building a friendship and a relationship with him. And not calling him Butch, you know, but eventually calling him Pop. Then my mom moved back up here and tried to get on her feet and then she uh, decided to move back. You know, she let that guy back in her home, and that was very difficult for me, knowing what all he did, and she still allowed him to come back. And then she, he wound up taking her back to Georgia and leaving her again. You know, now I'm able to reach so many people, and I can say, well, I went through this, so if, you, if I went through that, and you went through something similar, well, we got something in common, and now we can help one another, but that was a horrible time because that hatred um, carried on for a whole lot of years. It took a lot, um, and to this day, I still work work through it. And hatred and forgiving, and because uh, I felt like my mom passed away loving somebody who never loved her. But one thing Jenna did, she made me. I was going to trade school um, in the morning. I was working in the afternoon and going to night school at night, and my grades started dropping. And I remember Janet saying to me, you gonna quit that job, that trade school, and you gonna get this diploma. And you know, 
Jenna wasn't the one to mess with. So I'm like, sure, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. She's like, if I gotta pay you, then I'll pay you. Everything is a new day. I mean, every day's a new day. It sounds cliche, but it's true, just wait. When you make another mistake, just remind yourself, you ain't gotta do it again and again. Shout some up, up, young boy Biggie. I ain't talking about notorious though. The matriarch, she says, let's just do three songs. It don't work, it don't work. It was January of 2004, and I performed, it was I Repent. So I get out there and I perform it. And from there, it turned into an album. And then it turned, it didn't be doing videos. And then it started the bubble, and then we started traveling. I'm like, we, we, we go and meet all these people from the industry and all this stuff, and we in, we in Orlando, we open up for Jay Moss. I'm like, how we, we got Ken Jones, we doing all these big shows. And, and I was like, man, we had a song called Christ All I Need. And we do a video in 12 cities. And, tw and that song went number 12 in the country. All because she said, do those three songs. My daughter was six years old, and she says, I remember laying on the floor all nervous, like, can I really do this by myself? And I'm praying to myself. She comes running down the stairs, Daddy, I can read big words now. I'm like, all right, read something for me. This chick grabbed the Bible, flips it, and says, with men, things are impossible. With God, all things are possible, and went upstairs. I was like, it is on. It's on. And me and we just didn't turn back. We didn't look back. So that that three songs turned to four albums. It went to three songs to be on Holy Hip Hop Volume 4 going worldwide. Three songs to having a number one song in Philly called My Queen. Three songs, people getting baptized with Christ All I Need t-shirts. Three songs is almost saying, God saying, I am confusing the people who say, man, how he doing it? That dude ain't even nice. God's like, I'll take the people who the world say ain't special and make them special. That guy who, you know, ain't supposed to be nothing. He ain't that good. He put one person in my life that said, I believe in him 100%. That's the matriarch. She's like, I, I believe in you. And we and we rolled that thing. And for some reason, them wheels ain't fall off yet. Matter of fact, we got shiny rims on that thing now. With new tires. You know? And I'm thinking, when is it going to end? I'm getting older. Guys like uh, Moses was, I mean, Abraham was 99 when he was spitting out, you know, Sarah spitting out babies at the old age. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm going to tell you when to stop. Those three songs went to coming back to Philly, being on the radio here, having a voice in this community, people knowing who Big City is, impacting people, doing drive-by blessings, showing up, albums passed all over the place, opening up for Canton Jones, opening up for Yolanda Adams, open, Mary Mary, Shirley Caesar, Kurt Franklin, that dude from Richard Allen. That dude ain't supposed to be nothing. Opening up for all of these people. I remember being at the Stella Awards and I'm standing there and Shirley Caesar stands next to me. I'm like, hi, Miss Caesar. You know what she said? Hi, big. It's amazing that God chose. I'm humbled that he chose me. I think he chose me because there's so many people like me. There's so many people walking around saying, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't even know if I have a gift. I tell people that some of your closest friends are dream killers. You may say, man, I'm about to build the next whatever. And your closest friend be like, man, you ain't doing that. And you are like, you know what? I guess you're right. Just killed your dream, just like that. Without even knowing, just killed your dream. You know, so I surrounded myself with people who are dream 
planters and green um, fertilizers. They coming in with water and making sure that dream can grow. And that was my fam. That was my matriarch. That was Jay. And she got on me about making sure I'm practiced and make sure I'm sharp and make sure I'm humble. Because God opposes the proud gift to the humble. Like these are the type of things she showed me. But he he knew that I needed that toughness from her. So she had a tough upbringing. She was a tough woman. And, and he knew that she was going to be the one that was going to push me to go somewhere far. God's amazing, man. He's the master chess um, player. He's the master chess player. I may be a pawn, but I'm that pawn that got all the way to the end of the board. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got to the end of the board. They said, King me, Joker. Queen me, Joker. You know? So that's how I feel. So no matter what they say, you'll find me spitting. Freestyle or written, because my lyrics are God given. Like, so that's how it all, and it all comes from that. What am I supposed to do?